Say hello and welcome everyone to the monthly favorites episode and in this one I'll be running you through my most worn and loved perfumes of February 2023 so keep on watching to find out more about them. Don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a huge thumbs up if you like this kind of content and once you're done with that we can get started! <music> Hello and welcome everyone to another monthly favorites episode. Please let me know if you are still into these kind of videos and without any further ado, let's jump right into today's top list of most worn and loved perfumes of February 2023. Don't forget to drop me a comment down below which fragrances you've been wearing and loving the most during the month. But I have quite a lot of favorites. All of them are amazing. I want to get started though with the first fragrance I applied this month because Superb Cafe by LPDO was the fragrance I wore to our friend's birthday and um, I'm really into chatty mood guys today so grab yourself a snack and enjoy. I really want to tell you how we celebrated, it was amazing because we were playing games at the table so I wanted quite a mass appealing perfume, I was the only girl and we had like a lot of guys and it was a lot of fun and to be honest with you, January was so stressful for me that I really wanted to, you know, have fun at the party and although I am not a drinker, I bought gin because it's my favorite alcohol and I decided to, you know, just let things go and I didn't eat much that day and it was in the evening so I had only Pringles and lots of cocktails and guys were looking at me and they were like, Yana, wow, you've already gone through so much and the bottle was like, you know, <laughs> getting out. I was like, whatever, and then I was like, not feeling good at all, and rest of the evening I was just like um, cuddling with a cat on the couch and yeah one of them replaced me at the table so yeah uh, until that moment I've been enjoying my life a lot drinking playing laughing having fun and smelling amazing with this fragrance that is kind of dupe for intense coffee by Montal which is one of my most favorite sugary gourmands it's very delicious for me it's almost like a jammy rose scent it smells of a vanillic um, rose petals in here I get the same vibe it's basically the same perfume but for much less so I went ham on it and I smelled great you know like something delicious mouth watering and I feel myself really good wearing these kind of fragrances overall and this particular fragrance um, so just in case you are interested in this friend LPDO that creates fragrances that are inspired by very popular perfumes I have like a review on their entire collection so make sure to check out that video in case you missed it and haven't seen it yet but since we've kind of touched on Montal's perfumes, last month I filmed for you a review on Montal's new fragrance releases and um, if you missed that video please check it out because in it I share with you my thoughts on such fragrances as Fantastic Basilic and Herbal Aquatica as well as Blue Matcha and Rendezvous of Paris as well as some other fragrances that are pretty different from you know typical Montal's fragrance range so make sure to check out that video all the helpful information to videos I refer to and other stuff like discounts with which you can shop perfumes and save a little bit will be linked down below in the description box so feel free to check it out but this fragrance Intense Cafe by Montal has been definitely one of my most worn perfumes of February 2023 because well first things first I filmed like this um, best of cherry um, note um, for my second channel in Ukrainian so in case you are not subscribed to that channel I would really appreciate your subscription and uh, the link you will find down below but yeah I bought quite a few new cherry fragrances and it's one of them such a great very refreshing scent for Montal it smells of fresh cherries of fresh perfume cherries there is no almond aftertaste about this cherry which is quite unique because lots of cherry perfumes think about lost cherry for instance have that almondish sugary amaretto vibe and i don't smell it in here instead i get like 
freshness of cherries and you know blossomy floral notes and very lovely musk that's not too heavy it's just really really wearable perfume that I've been wearing on the everyday basis and you know just um, having lots and lots of uh, pleasurable moments with this fragrance that projects well uh, it's not mo most long-lasting but as long as it lasts, it's very, very nice. So something a bit more creative on the cherry subject is this new perfume by Lorenzo Pazalia that's called Cherry Ink, and it's one of his newest perfume releases. And I was so excited about it because I know Lorenzo personally, he's a great guy, he's very talented. And this fragrance is probably my number one or maybe number two favorite from him because uh, this cherry is also very particular. It has no obvious almond you know vibe going on it's a refreshing juicy not too sour cherry with a bit of mystery around it it's not too heavy you know there is a note of ink so it is creative it is very artistic um, I would say it's um, one of the most realistic takes on cherry so just in case you love cherries and you love how they taste and you would like that feeling in your perfume I feel like cherry ink is closest to to it as um, like you can get. So I like the refreshing part of it. I like that it is still deep, powdery in the dry down, but not in a sweet way. Incredible compliment getter. I mean, like people notice it and people compliment you on it. So I can only recommend you guys to check it out. Lorenzo's fragrances are very long lasting and this one is not an exception. So this one is one of the best perfumes I've smelled this year, but to complete, you know, this cherry subject, I really want to mention La Fest Burning Cherry by Kayali that I keep in my purse because of its very, you know, travel friendly size. And to be honest with you, in the opening, it reminds me so badly of Lost Cherry, but in the dry down, it's so different. In fact, it turns very fresh fresh shower jelly but with lots of power to it it smells extremely elegant like if you want an elegant fruity fragrance that would be fresh that would be fun but at the same time that you could wear to work where I have been wearing it um, all this time I would really recommend you this fragrance it comes in a very pretty bottle I kind of regret that I didn't get it in bigger size because the bottle is pretty. The fragrance is so forgiving. You can overspray it and it's not too much. Plus people like the way it smells because it's kind of sweetened, but it's not a full-on heavy gourmand. So you can get away with it really easily and it's very everyday time friendly, kind of like a no-brainer type of fragrance that's suitable for any kind of occasion. So I've been enjoying that a lot and also if you are interested in more cherry recommendations I would recommend you to check out my top list dedicated to cherry fragrances so the link is going to be on the screen but let's move on to the next perfume that I actually featured in a video about most expensive perfumes from my perfume collection in case you haven't seen it yet and maybe you're looking for a very luxurious fragrance or you just want to know how much perfumes can cost or what are most expensive perfumes in my collection check it out it's fun and this fragrance is absolutely out of this world also fruity but in a different way than three previous cherry centered fragrances this is a bit more diffused it smells a little bit like like not dated but but you know like a roger dove has this um, luxurious powdery and very yeah just expensive um, style of fragrances medicine perfum is something that i would recommend for lovers of bougie fragrances like maybe if you don't want a lot of perfumes you're limited but you want to splurge on something extremely luxurious and you love fruity fragrances this is so good like i can't really say which fruits we have in here but it's like a great like fruit party with flowers like at the Ad Eden's a garden Oh, I just love the scent and it's so so pretty. I also love you know like the powdery veil that um, wraps all the fruity like juicy but at the same time a little bit um, 
luscious um, just you know, fruity element so yeah it's great it's um, something a bit more special occasion like for me so I haven't worn uh, worn it much uh, last month but it's one of my most loved perfumes of February so yeah with that being said something that I discovered for myself in February is this brand Tio Cabanel and you know what's very interesting for me personally guys I asked you some time ago if you're interested in my review kind of like collection overview of Tio Cabanel fragrances and I guess like positive response some people wanted to see and hear my opinion on their fragrances so I got this discovery set and it's amazing fantastic the collection of these fragrances is so modern so unique so avant-garde some perfumes are very like chic and gorgeous very modern and I absolutely love discovering it I filmed first impressions exploring the collection and unfortunately that video didn't get lots of views so just in case you're watching this and you missed that please check it out but I really want to point out a few fragrances of the collection and in the video I kind of did that but this one that I was a bit afraid to blind buy and thanks god after sampling the collection Café Cabanel turned out to be as great as people called it because it's a very thick buttery, creamy, powdery gourmand. It's big and it's um, spicy, warm and just very textural because of such notes as tonka bean, caramel, vanilla, coffee, cinnamon and heliotrope that um, I would say for me it has been my go-to evening perfume. If we were going out at night I was wrapping this. I actually kept it at my door so when I was you know putting my coat I just sprayed a bit of this and it's like an extra layer on you but in a positive way it's like this fragrance that um, hugs you, that gives you a feeling of comfort and uh, gives you also like this pleasurable feeling because it's a gourmand, spicy and creamy. So it has been a huge favorite of mine, but definitely check out my entire collection overview of their fragrances because they are fantastic. But on that note, let's talk about two fragrances that I actually layered when we went out to the um, outdoor zoo and it was a phenomenal experience for me, but these two fragrances are not necessarily meant to be worn. Um, during the day especially outside well at least not this one alias i would say that it's overall like a nighttime perfume although benny commented on it and he was like wow the sillage and i mean yeah like it projects intensely but it's such a boozy such you know like um tobacco wish fragrance that's woody that's vanillic benny said like you smells of chocolate, you know, like I had like this trail all around our house and yeah, I would say like if you love boozy perfumes, you love alcohol, being sweetened and the hint of tobacco in your fragrance, Alias is gorgeous for that, it would be great on a bigger person, on a man, oh, it's such a delicious but you know not sweet fragrance and something that is very very sweet and also extremely powdery is Noir Toscan uh, Vanille Raisin uh, by this brand La Maison de la Vanille are about vanilla and I love vanilla so it's perfect for me but this is super sweet like this is I don't know it's like a vanillic fruity lotion for your body. It smells very musky to me and it's interesting that in the notes we have honey, exotic fruits, grapes, osmanthus, vanilla and amber. So grapes, very interesting. Maybe, yeah, maybe grapes. Um, and it's a very daytime friendly fragrance. This is nighttime friendly fragrance. These two together, like, I mean, just get out. These two will make sure that people will smell you around for several days. It's an incredible combination but not for the outdoor zoo because I feel like I smelled myself so much, like too much. These fragrances should be worn a different kind of occasion, maybe like if you're going out and you want to impress someone and not just, you know, watching animals um, at the fresh air. But anyway, anyway, uh, fragrances, uh, some lighter fragrances, um, these two Kinzo flowers. I have two, I mixed them um, when I went to work and they were lovely. Not very long lasting though, but I, I, I was asked about them, so 
I couldn't smell them myself um, after a couple of hours, but I believe like people, other people could. Sometimes that can uh, happen with perfume. So these are lighter floral, and I like that they are like a little bit cream, like mm, I don't know, like mm, creamy powder. You know, like if you if you've mixed lotion and dry powder and added flowers, fresh flowers to them, that would create a paste, right? So paste your fragrances but in a very lovely way and for work they are very inoffensive they're just fine so that's how I've been wearing them but something else I wore to work and something that uh, looks definitely very pretty is my first perfume from the uh, Giardino Benessere collection Ooh, I really want to show you this pretty packaging um, by Tizian Paulus Trends it's called Dassos and it's a newer release. Unfortunately, it didn't work out for me. So I, I will pass it to Benny. Ah, because it's um, it's you know, it's like oud uh, that's very mm, fresh, aromatic with some herbs, you know, like clary, sage, lavender. So peaceful, elegant, uh, but more on the masculine side because of those herbs. So I think for a man, for a gentleman, for a businessman, for an office worker, this would be great. Also, if you are uh, running places at work, you know, if you're not necessarily sitting in one place, this would leave like great sillage, uh, but it's not necessarily my type of perfume. However, uh, this fragrance, um, Missiarte by Quinto Canto, is totally my kind of thing because um, this is sweet uh, and fruity, but like with an edge, which I really like. I like perfumes with an edge. I like bold fragrances. I like perfumes that have like this, um, you know, something that um, catches you, and this one definitely uh, does that. Plus, the bottle is a really, really nice. Just look at it. So, so gorgeous. And the scent is very interesting. I would say, to me, it smells like cool marble, you know, panel or something. Very strange description. I'm aware of that. But you guys, that, like, there is something in there that's so hard to describe. It's not a fruity fragrance, although we have powerful fruits in there such as pineapple, grapefruit, raspberry, damask, plum. If you see the notes you're like okay it's gonna be a fruity bomb and plus there is coconut and caramel so you would say it's a gourmand plus there is also heliotrope so probably it's powdery and even some flowers like such as jasmine and love the valley so maybe it's also floral and there is leather with sandalwood and ambergris so who knows, maybe there is an animalic hint. And to be honest with you, I can't describe those fragrances, but like that, that, that particular fragrance by those categories. I would say it's just something very um, chic to wear. Like when I wear it, I feel that way. I feel like I'm ready for, you know, anything, but also pleasant stuff to come my way. It's like a positive perfume that set up, like sets that very positive attitude for you like you know you, you you're looking to the world very positively wearing it so I hope that makes sense at least that's how I feel about it when it's hard to describe fragrance by categories or to pinpoint the notes in the perfume I think I feel like it's interesting to just you know talk about feelings and which impressions and uh, yeah what it evokes in you and I feel good wearing it. I feel like this is a very lovely and also easy going fragrance that might be more complex than you first think it is. So yeah, that's something that I've been loving to wear on the everyday basis. Doesn't matter if it's work or free time, it's a very, very lovely fragrance to enjoy. But something that blew me away last month, my most favorite perfume discovery, February 2020, Three is Ormond Jane's newest fragrance, Sakura. And you guys, first of all, this bottle is so gorgeous. Second of all, this fragrance. I am in love with the Sakura because it smells of rice. It smells of delicate, powdery floral notes. And when I spray it on for, you know, first couple of minutes, like maybe for first 20 minutes, I smell a 
very strong animalic um, element in there. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm weird, maybe it's just me, but for me this is an animalic, fresh, powdery, floral fragrance, so modern, almost hitting on a matcha note without going there, staying at the beautiful rice, powdery, delicate, you know, just like this undescribably delicate um, note. I love it, I wear it, I adore it and I highly recommend it. So yeah, that's my most favorite perfume discovery of the month. More information about it you can uh, find in my review on Sakura, but that completes my February 2023 monthly favorites episode that I hope you enjoyed watching and if so, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up because they matter a lot because thanks to them my videos get out there. So don't forget to subscribe if you have any questions left, drop me a comment and I am looking forward to find out which fragrances you've been wearing during January, no, February 2023. Winter is kind of over and I'm excited for spring, so let me know which videos you want to see from me next and thank you so much for watching this one. Don't forget to check out the description box, follow me on my social media and please stay tuned and smell good because we'll see each other next one really soon. Bye guys!